Have I ever told you about my son? <laughs> Remarkable boy. Quite smart. But he was born in a robot factory in the Solana Galaxy. But to be precise, he was created much farther away. My son's name is XJ0461, but the universe knows him as Clank. The Zoni are inquiring about our progress. Ah, how much longer must we pretend to be friends with those twits? Sire does not remember. You must fix. Yes, I'm fixing. I'm fixing. Stand by for sister board scan. All right, let's see. Favorite colors green. Favorite numbers 83 billion and 4.7. Blah, blah, blah. Access denied. Neural safeguard activated. No! No! Oh, locked out again! It's in here, Lawrence. Somewhere in this brain lies the key to the Orvis chamber. No, Orvis chamber. Your zoniness. If we could take but a peek at the chamber. No, Orvis chamber. Chamber is for sire only. Very well. Then I think it's time our partnership came to an end. Say hello to... Not the hypersonic brainwave scrambler. The hypersonic brainwave scrambler! <laughs> Apologies, sir. I should have mentioned... The equipment is especially susceptible to sonic weaponry. Backup generator activated. He's awake! Stop him! Welcome to some Ratchet and Clank. Good. You're safe for now. Where am I? A crack in what time. What is Nefarious doing here? I'll explain everything as soon as you're safe, sir. But right now, we need to calibrate your ocular response processes. Try looking at the ocular scanner on your left. Good. Okay. Now look at the one on the right. This is an emulator. Got it. All right. Look at the scanner above you. Good. So, now, there's one more beneath you. There's gonna be things like that sometimes. You guys know this. People You're that I've been watching. Now, keep moving. I'll hold them off as long as I can. Breach detected in sector six. Dispatching time cleaners. Whoa. I am sorry for that. I did not know this game was gonna be like this. Well, the emulator was mad like this for it. Oh my god. <laughs> Crazy that Dr. Ferris is back. There's a perfectly logical explanation for that. Uh, but let's save it for another time. Can I jump up there? There we go. Holy. Oh, 
I'm so sorry. This is very like buggy right now. I'm I feel so bad, but like I'm excited. Like it doesn't bother me, but I hope it doesn't bother you. I just hope it doesn't bother you guys. I'm moving. I've never had Clank have these type of abilities before. Oh, we made it. Oh. oh, please. I will put a warning saying that it will glitch. What happened? What the fuck? Discover, sir. I have an idea. I'm going to like a hypersonic brainwave. Let's try this again. Hurry, before the energy dissipates. Annihilate. All right, this time we got it. Holy. Good job, sir. Now keep moving. Whoa. There we go. This is so weird to have Frank. Oh my. Is it stuck in a time loop? Dude, that's so cool. Oh, please. Oh, yes. Is that the broom claw? Oh. What chamber? They keep talking about a chamber. Nefarious. I should have known you were behind this. Where have you taken me? You don't recognize it? This is your home! The Great Clock! A marvel of science and sorcery, engineered by the brightest Sony in all of existence, and constructed in the exact center of the universe! Give or wow. take 50 feet. Give or take I am 50 curious. Feet. What lie did you tell the Zoni in your quest for vengeance? Vengeance? You think I went to all this trouble for mere vengeance? They say I make a maniacal. Let's just <laughs> say it's all in the past. Lawrence! Right here, sir. Ready the orb of gratuitous immobilization. Wow. What the hell? Did he Shall freeze I him in time? The station again? No. I have a better idea. But, sir... Patience, Lawrence. We have all the time in the universe. Oh, no. Oh, my God. What the hell? Wow. Bro, this is like a step up from the last few games. What the hell? The space. It's huge. So huge, in fact, oh, that if you no. lost your car keys in it, they would be almost impossible to find. Luckily for Ratchet, Captain Copernicus L. Quark was on the case. His mission rescue the Lombax's one and only friend. Yep, without Clank, Ratchet was alone in the universe. Alone.
Alone. Alone. <laughs> you realize this ship has an ejector seat, right? Sorry. I guess you could say I've been a little antsy in my pantsy at the thought of getting back into the hero business. <laughs> yep. These wild stallions have been in the stable too long. <laughs> right. Look, just keep your eyes peeled. Talon says this sector's crawling with mercenaries. Rest easy, my friend. My vigilance is both eternal and peripheral. Warning. Warning. Unidentified anomaly detected. Hang on. Shifting to evasive maneuver. Oh, that's evasive, all right. When are we not crashing? <laughs> oh no, we're gonna die! We're gonna die! Oh, good thing I'm wearing clean underwear! Will you shut up? We are not gonna die! Avilion, engage gravimetric stabilizers! Negative. Stabilizers offline. Thrusters offline. Landing flaps offline. Alright, so, we're gonna die. No! <laughs> No, we lost the Pelion. Hang on. What happened? Wow. I know. So much for clean underwear. Ugh. <laughs> It's me. Perhaps a leisurely oh. stroll through this uncharted jungle will solve the mystery. Well, that was bound to happen. Some black squares. Marooned on a hostile alien planet, Captain Quark realized his rescue mission would inevitably pit him against the most terrifying evil of all. Nature. Now. Let us go. That is bound to happen, people. So I'm sorry about that. Oh shit, we come with a gun. What the hell, where did Quark go? Ah, Rockets! Nature is attacking! There you are, Quark. Okay, slight problem. I'm not so good with swimming. Just wait here. I'll find you another way across. Oh, great. This rain is gonna be murder on my spandex. Oh, God. That was a little glitchy, a little framey there. Maybe it's because of all the rain as well. So I looked up online. The, there is gonna be visual glitches for this game. There's quite a lot in this one, considering, you know, I'm using AMD. My driver is AMD. My graphical card and everything is all AMD. And I looked up online and the emulator says that it has some issues right now. It will get fixed eventually, but I don't know when. So far, they're going to see black block, black boxes. You're going to see a few visual glitches. Sometimes fire won't appear. Sometimes things like that won't happen. So I'm going to be okay with it. But if it gets too unbearable, I will skip a little bit or I'll skip along. You know what I mean? So I'm just warning you now. It's not going to hinder my experience. I'm here for the story. I'm not here for the graphics. I'm not here, you know. I played a PS2 game and PS1 games. All right. So. So they're not i'm not mad about the graphics at all <laughs> i can deal with that but if it crashes a lot that is going to be hard on my end so that'll kind of sour me out for this game but we're going to see i believe this game is 10 and a half 11 hours so we're going to try our best and try not to run into so many glitches so without you know with that brief expl explanation we're just going to continue forward but i wanted to warn you guys about that you guys are going to see subtitles about it and comments but yeah, you guys are just gonna have to like get used to it. You know, I know it's gonna be bad. I'm sorry for that. So yeah. All right. So we get off across here, and then what? Ah. How do we? What's the plan anyway? Oh. Well, where there are bridges, there are people. Where there are people, there are ships. You see where I'm going with this? Hey, that's pretty smart. You're gonna make a great sidekick. Great sidekick. Look at this beautiful native craftsmanship. Oh my god. Take that, culture. Whoa! Quark, are you seeing this? 
something is seriously wrong with this planet. Uh, it's like time is all not working. Is it me or is it like reverb? You know what I mean? Whoa. Rumble, you stupid door! I'll find another way around. Are you gonna be alright with those things on the loose? Please, I can handle a few tiny creatures. Oh my god. Help! The parents are here! Oh my god. Now in court, he looks. Do it. There we go. Oh! You see the size of those things? They were horrible! Come on, maybe there's a hotel around here. A hotel. What? Concerned for his compatriot's well-being, Captain Quark's noble sidekick ninja leaps from stone to stone. Below him, six deadly inches of crystal blue water. Oh my god. With his enemies dude. vanquished, Captain Quark steals into the jungle. Blaster at the ready, prepared to deliver swift oh, justice to those his who cross his path. Annoys me. <laughs> But I love him. Hey, look, they've got Grummel now. Well, at least they're civilized. You need anything? Fresh off the assembly line at Grummel Net HQ. All right, Chief, what can we do you for? Are you tired of having to purchase a different weapon for every occasion? Then try Grummel Net's new constructo line and take charge of your arsenal. Each weapon can be modified with any constructor approved upgrade. Rate of fire, ammo type, specialty no triggers. Way. If you can dream it, Constructo can deliver it. Now available in three flavors. The Constructo Bong Glove, Constructo Pistol, and Constructo Shotgun. That is so cool. Alright, Chief. What can we do you for? Is that one of those new Constructo bomb gloves? I've seen commercials for those back on Kurwan. Versatile weapons for the versatile adventurer. Oh, there's a reticle now. That's so cool. This door is well, there has been one, but it's... Look at all the cool weapons. Cause I'm a cool guy. Help! Please! Please help me! My children! They're in danger! What seems to be the problem, citizen? Siphoid. We were fishing up the river when they attacked. Ah. Look, stay here. That's I'll what they're save called. The children. You got it, sidekick. Smart thinking. I'll just stay here and hold the fort. He's over there in that ledge. Save him! Wow! Thanks, mister! My mom's over there! Locate the missing children. Three of them? Well, at least we got the first one out of the way. Let's go save some kids. Oh, I just can't be easy. Oh, yep, there's the black box. Okay. Now what? Oh, that's so cool. Ignore the black box, guys. What is this? Hey, Chief. You just picked up a Constructo mod. Constructo mod? Class. Oh, what the fuck? No way. Oh, guys, what the fuck? Weapons. This, this just got a bunch of points for me. I love customization. And you guys know I love pink and purple. I love those colors. Anything that resembles purple, I'm going to put on, right? That's just the way I am, and that's my favorite color. Hey, kid. Don't worry, I'll get you home. Thanks, kitty. My mom's <laughs> I'm a Lombax. Kalo. Oh, I was so worried about you. 
Brax is still out there with the Xyphoids. Please find him. Where would he be? Don't tell me he's up ahead, this kid, man. Oh, he is up ahead. There you are. Oh, what happened? Level two. Your weapon is upgraded. Weapons upgrade automatically as they are used. This increases their damage. Wow! Are you a real Lombax? I yes, I am. Oh, that's what's over here on the map. Our first gold bolt. What the fuck? It drops a bunch of mini bolts. One out of 40. Not bad. All right, kid. Let's meet your mom. Oh, thank you so much. Happy to be of service, ma'am. The Cyphoids will be back soon. Come. We have to get into the village. So what are these things? Mutated viruses from the Cortho sector. We haven't seen them on this planet in years. Something must have happened to the Zoni. Alpheus, open the door! Anessa, what are you doing out here? The Xyphoids are back. There must be something wrong with the timekeeper. Not in front of the outsiders. Quickly, we must head into the village. Oh my god. These creatures are the least of our worries right now. One of the elders spotted Lord Vorsalon's warship over the falls. Lord Vorsalon? <laughs> that rebel must be making trouble again. Oh no. We have to move everyone into the village. Hey, this do it. Hey, how come you get all the cool weapons? Cause I'm cool, alright. And, and I have plot armor. Stop until they've broken through the wall. We have to protect the villagers. I'm trying. Explosions make everything better. Level two. Let's hear it. Fuck yeah. What are you shooting me for? The these woods are no longer safe. Come, we can offer you sanctuary within these walls. Sorry, I'm grabbing shit. Let it go. Oh my god, they're so cute. I saw your starship crash on the other side of the ridge. I believe we may be of assistance. Well, the ship's trashed. There's no way we'll be able to repair it. Ah, but the Zoni can. Meet me at the Temple no, no. of Zan whenever you're ready. I will explain everything. <laughs> the way he talks. I don't know why, I just feel like talking like that. The Zoni can protect everything. In oh, Hana, my name's family. Grib-neck, father, friend, and chief of the fungoids. Oh, they're called <laughs> fungoids. Like oh, wait, I already know that. You saved Anessa's children! They'll be mopping them off the battlefield when you use this puppy on them. Ooh, a new weapon. The Sonic Eruptor! This genetically mutated Xenago is the perfect weapon for crowd control of a destructive nature. Firing the weapon at a group of enemies will unleash a deadly and destructive mating call. Grab a kick! Try squeezing the trigger when the Xenago's lungs are full! The Sonic Eruptor, available only at Grummelnet. That's cool. All right, Chief. What can we do you? Let's meet the Zoni. Your starship is not beyond repair, but fixing it will take powers beyond anything this universe has ever seen. Powers not to be taken lightly. Can you keep a secret? 
Well, no, I hate secrets. Yes, I can keep a secret. Yes, These I can Sony keep secret. are powerful creatures, capable of almost anything, Mal. But they are also hive minds and must be kept together for their energy to work. Inside is a vessel which will allow you to rescue lost Zoni and harness their bioenergy. Follow me and don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. All right, sheesh. Oh, I know Quark is gonna touch something. We'll have to seal you inside until you recover the vessel. Are you sure you don't want to stay here? We have a lovely miniature golf course. I'll be fine. Quark, link into my nav unit. We'll stay in radio contact. Copy that. Operation Red Shirt is a go. <laughs> Red Shirt. Is that Clang? Surviving situations like this is to avoid phrases like it's too quiet in here or everything's going to be all right. <laughs> oh, it's the standard course, isn't it? Yeah, I'm through. Let's hope this vessel is worth it. According to the chief, it's one of a kind. Brought to it's this dimension by Orvis and entrusted to the Fongoids. And he's sure it'll fix Aphelion? He said it'll do a lot more than that. Sony Bioenergy is the most powerful resource in the Omniverse. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Quark, there are two Zoni in here. Those poor lost little creatures. See if you can grab one with your wrench and stuff it into the vessel. Oh, we're like collecting them like Pokemon. Got it. Nice work, Ratchet. Operation Red Shirt is a success. <laughs> Red. Wait a minute, did this change? Yeah. Come back, little Zony. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah. Parkour. Yeah. There he is. Come here, little Zony. Come on. Come yeah. on. I ah, gotcha. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I put the game on hard difficulty. I know, I know it's late, but like, it's on hard difficulty. You survived? I mean, you survived! <laughs> I told you we'd do it! Well done! The vessel is yours! <laughs> Come, there is one more Zoni we put in the old armory for safekeeping. Our guards discovered it wandering around the waterfront. It can help you repair your ship! Yay, we can repair our ship. Quick! Everyone inside the temple! Marcelon is coming! Who the right, hell is coming? You ready to let those stallions out of the stable? I was born ready. <laughs> the out of the various was clear as to the repercussions of leaving your hovel. The clock is ours. Whoa, uh, wait. Who? Dr. Oh. Nefarious has no authority here, villain. In fact, I'm not even entirely convinced he's a real doctor. So return <laughs> my sidekick's pal before I bring the thunder. What? You would again get Technology. Technology. <laughs> exile bring the rest in no way. Let's do this. Ow, that hurts. They're kidnapping the villagers! We have to stop them! No, no, no. How are you? Oh, no! No 
fucking way. Just die! Oh my lord, I take a lot of damage! Cover me while I open the door! I have a secret passageway that will take you back to your ship. Stay close. Let's go. I have to save them. Let's go! <gasps> you bastards! These villagers were living a nice life! No! I wasn't paying attention! No way. I died? What the fuck? We should be friends. All right, we're back. This time we're gonna strafe and jump around like crazy. All right, there we did it. Holy fuck! We're too late. Vorsalon is leaving. No, we failed. Are you serious? Do I hear Zoni? Oh no, that's so freaking sad. Come here, quickly. Come here. Wait, do I have to collect all the Zoni? This is the last shred of technology in the entire village. I was always meaning to dismantle it, but now I'm glad I didn't. This teleporter will take you back to your ship. Well, follow me. How does he know that? <laughs> Quick, use this Zoni vessel to repair your starship. And how do I do that? What the hell? She looks beautiful. Oh, yes, we get to upgrade the ship. Oh, my God. Look what I found behind the ship. A That's two. I couldn't find I couldn't really see it because of the all the black squares. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, it feels so good to have a ship that we can upgrade and fly. Come in. Do you read me? It's good to hear your voice, Ratchet. They've got us in these containment cells, and they're coming with food. Oh, thank heaven. They're coming with tap water? You animals. Would you just listen you to me? Animal. I need you to activate the nav beacon on your belt. Can you do that? Good. Now hang tight. I'm on my way. Oh, shit. Oh, it's way different than before.
Okay, that's the missiles. What is that? Warning! Hostile ships detected. Point of origin appears to be the same as Captain Quark's nav beacon. Oh, this is a little lame in my eyes. Two times a bolt. Nice. He sounds like General Grievous. Kill uh, myself. Smells like my high school gym locker. <laughs> All right, maintain radio silence. I'll contact you when I'm inside. There it is. That's what I was looking for. I was like, didn't we have this before? Why, why couldn't we use our wrench to get all those bridges up? What? Right, there we go. Hell yeah. Now we just go up. Oh, we still have our gravity. Thank God. Let's save this idiot. This beautiful idiot toe. Breach detected in starboard airlock. Dispatching engineer. Oh shit. Grab boots, activate. Lasers. All right, there we go. I am an engineer. I am well, he wasn't shit. Fred, is that you? Azimuth has escaped. You owe me five bolts. You owe me five bolts, he says. Poor guy. Doop -a -doo, doop -a -doo. Hyperspace building module released. Released. Ow! Hide diesel the cafeteria, eh? Come on. There we go. All oh, little nuts and bolts are so cute. Look at him. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, we did it. God damn it. Like I said, they aren't shit, man. No. <laughs> Well, then I'll wait till they all gather and BAM! BAM! Oh shit, this weapon. Ah, that's why I don't like using it. I'm sorry, we're gonna use that weapon less. Yeah, we're gonna use that weapon less, okay? 
So we get another weapon. They'll be mopping them off the battlefield when you use this puppy on them. Mr. Zuk Zircon. Oh. Mr. Zircon is the perfect companion for spontaneous treks through hostile alien environments. Uh oh. Looks like these guys are hungry for Lombax soup. Well, not to worry. Just deploy your Mr. Zircon, and he'll target any hostile entity. <laughs> Mr. Zircon is looking to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Zircon, available only at Grummelnet. Welcome back, Chief. Supposed to go down here, right? Alert, alert. All right, now that everyone's dead. Come on. Oh, that's annoying. What? Annihilate, annihilate. Oh, come on. I was just kidding. You know, I didn't think I did it right. You know what I mean? Cranking that uh, the bolt there or whatever. All right, we landed up here. Let's go. Here they all come now. Whoa. I upgrade my nano bar. Who the hell is that? Oh, that's the main guy. What the fuck is that there? Alright, I had to take care of some boxes. Let's let's do this. For the Rhino Hollow Plan. Cork, give me a status update. This guy works along means business. He'll kill us if we don't give up Alistair Azimuth. Who is Alistair Azimuth? I don't know, some rebel. All right, we'll find out what you can. If he's an enemy of Nefarious, he might be a friend to us. Alistair Ammo. Who is that? Oh my lord. That wasn't so bad. Again, I'm sorry for the frame rate, fra fra frame rate and visual glitches. People in Discord already know that I talked about this, but like, I just hope you guys find it all okay. Oh my lord! Woo! Stop. I gotta say, like, the grenades are very nice. Oh, there we go. Woo. Now we can deal with this. Hell yeah! No, I'm gonna back up over here. We should be friends. No! Okay, we are back, and this time I'm hiding behind this goddamn thing. Almost dead, hell yeah. Annihilate, annihilate, annihilate. All right, up we go, up we go. Secondary hyperspace oh. sealing module released. Hyperspace module. 
So these are important, eh? Um, third DRE hyperspace fueling module released. Is this an AI? <laughs> so she's seeing. Level three upgrades, people. We love to see it. Power failure detected in auxiliary server room. What happened? I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what happened here. Power failure detected in auxiliary server. Did the laser hit me? Is that what happened? Oh, I lost my voice for a second. Is that what happened? The laser hit me and like screwed everything up? Oh. Alright. Wait a minute. Wait. We'll wait for it. We're gonna follow this. Here we go. So that all works out in the end, okay? Let's go. Oh, I was just gonna run right through that. There we go. What floor, please? Um, detention wing? Wow, I can't believe that worked. What was that? Nothing. Oh no. Wait, how old is Ratchet? Someone help us! Yeah, how old is Ratchet, by the way? I never thought about that. It's the green one sidekick! We're saved! I knew you'd come for us. It's good to see you, Ratchet. Now we need to find a way out. What's your name? The child. Hurl yourself into this laser wall as hard as you can. Hey, mister. What about the Versafuse? If you pull it out, it might lower the field. I like how he's smarter than Quark. We did it! Everyone Hell yeah! Me. I'll get us out of here. Stay quiet. We don't want to set off the alarm. Oh my god. I just had a feeling he was going to set up the alarm, you know? Die! Oh, it's almost leveled up. This will be it! Level 3! Yeah! Sorry, I'm just so hyped when I level up a weapon now. It's so cool. It's so cool. Reaches out. Reaches out. What do we do? Oh, come on, don't kill me from this. Please, please don't kill me. Yes, well, well done. <laughs> I almost had to hurl you all to safety myself. Oh, please be enough. <laughs> yes, it was enough. Almost. Whew. Come on, Quark. Get us out of here. Let's go. Prison break. The prisoners must not escape. Well, they're going to. I'll open the doors. You get the Fongoids to safety. Okay, anybody need to use the bathroom? I don't want to leave the loading bay and then here one of you has to go. <laughs> the onboard computer says there's a manual switch somewhere in that 
room. Check the grav ramp. All right, let's keep going. Ah, oh, there's the switch. Loading bay doors are open. Launching escape vessel in three, two, one. There they go. Bye bye. Okay, let's go. We have to get out of here. They blocked my escape route. Meet me in the lower deck landing bay. Okay. Keep saying asshole. Oh shit. Do we go down here? All right, go fish. Wait for it. Lord Forsalon. <laughs> Lord Forsalon. My first boss fight. Oh, oh, oh. Slower than last time, as it would be taking it easy on Lord Forsalon, would you? I should have killed you back on You fight well against an enemy you can't see. But what about what you can't? This is not fair. Oh, that is annoying. Did you really expect that? You think we've never done this yet? Now you see me? Lucky shot. Come on. Oh, I hear him. I hear him. He's over here. How is this possible? Oh, come on. Come on, Mr. Zircon. Oh, please. Come on. Yes. Oh, he really is a head in a fishbowl. <laughs> Ratchet. Great news. The chief says Alistair Azimuth lives on Torin 4 in the Vela sector. I'm uploading coordinates to your ship now. In the meantime, I'll stay with the fungoids and find out what else they know about Azimuth. Work out. Work out. Is that the Phoenix? The galactic map has been updated with coordinates to the Vela sector. Oh, there's a galaxy map now. <laughs> uh, weapon! 
You are the robot who assisted me in my escape from Nefarious. What is your name? My name? Um, yes, of course. Sigma 0426A. Uh, but you can call me Sigmund. I'm junior caretaker here at the Great Clock. Forgive me, but what is the Great Clock? Oh dear! We're late! Come! We don't have a lot of time! Uh, figuratively speaking, of course. Wow. Where is everyone? Not really sure. Nefarious and his troops just picked up and left after that butler guy tossed you into the hall. Not a very pleasant lot, are they? No, not very pleasant at all. May I ask what the purpose of this facility is? This place? Oh, this is the universe's greatest contingency plan. Come, Orvis is waiting. Oh, cool, ever cute. Uh, oh, no, no, oh, come on. Stupid hypersonic brainwave scrambler. People wonder why we keep this place a secret. Oh my. Alright, now we gotta get up there. I gotta say, the clank missions are a bit more fun. Oh. Access denied. Senior personnel only. Open your uh, optical drive. This is senior personnel. Yay, Arbor Q. Dude, I'm, I love Clank. We're here. While you're unconscious, I took the liberty of installing a quantum actuator into your circuitry. It allows you to create multiple selves. Multiple what? selves? How else would we get anything done around here? It, just record your actions using the time pads and initiate them while the present you moves on to do other things. Time pads can be a little tricky. Let me show you how they work. What do you mean? First, stand on the time pad. Okay. Then, initiate temporal recording. Now I'll just open the door and end temporal recording. Now, when I start recording on the second pad, Look, sir, that's me. Now all I have to do is wait for me to open the door for myself. <laughs> Ta-da! Now I can get through the door. Pretty sweet, huh? Go ahead, sir. Give it a try. Temporal recording initiated. Now, activate the other time pad and have your pass... Temporal open the door for you. Initiated. Quite an ingenious security device. Oh. Did you design it? Are you kidding? Orvis was the smart one. That's so cool. What the hell? I see you, Mr. Robot. Time pads will also let you record over your past selves. That way you can do everything they did and more. First, initiate recording and open that chamber door. Ah, it's then, like training wheels for me. while the chamber is open, end recording. Okay. Next, we'll start recording on the second time pad. When your past self opens the chamber, step inside and open the door. Now, end recording. Okay, here's the tricky part. Since the past self holding the door open is inside the chamber, you'll have to re-record over your other self in order to exit. Open the chamber to let your past self in. Then when he opens the exit, you're free to go. Give it a try, sir. Okay. Temporal recording. So this initiated. first. And then this goes on here. Temporal recording initiated. Right? You're halfway there, sir. All you have to do now is re-record your first self. Temporal and the recording other will open the initiated. door for you. Oh, I get it. That's fucking cool. 
What the hell? Corvus was right. You're gonna do just fine. Race into the pneumonic chamber. Oh, come on. <laughs> I just fixed that. Whoa. Here we are. So, are you ready to meet Orvis? I am ready. Access granted. Welcome to Mnemonic Station Beta. Wait. Where is Orvis? Where is Orvis? He's in your head, <laughs> of course. He locked away on a secret partition in your memory banks. Dr. Nefarious spent over a year trying to hack in. I have to deactivate your neural safeguards and send you into your own subconscious. Hop in! Okay, so he's locked away in my head and I have to unlock him with him going into my head. Is that right? Why, why? Hello, XJ0461, and welcome to your subconscious. I am Orvis, and I've been anticipating your return for quite some time. I do not understand. Have I been here before? <laughs> you didn't think your soul came from a robot factory, did you? I created you. No way. Oh, you must have a lot of questions. But first, I have a present for you. Oh, yay. No fucking we way. Go. We have lots to do if you're going to take over my work. Are you really my father? No, my dear boy. I am a program. A digital simulation of the real Orvis. Installed the day you were born in Solana. But uh... don't worry. I know all his old jokes. <laughs> Lesson one. I'm going to teach you how to manipulate time. That chrono scepter can be used to create time bombs. Try using them to get across to the other side. Bravo, oh, I'm stupid. Lesson one. I'm going to teach you how to manipulate time. That chrono scepter can be used to create time bombs. Try using them to get across to the other side. Okay, I get it. We don't talk about what happened last time, all right? Bravo, XJ0461. Bravo. Each bomb contains enough quantum energy to slow down time for just a few moments. Quantum energy is quite unstable, so only one bomb may be thrown at a time. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. I kind of get it. You know what I mean? If you come across a broken object, simply strike it with your chrono scepter. It should reverse back to the way it was. Go on. That is Keep so fucking cool, really. Form XJ0461. You're doing quite well. Now, on to lesson two. What My is mind is two? blown. Temporal manipulation via faster than light particle acceleration? Actually, I'm going to teach you how to hit things with a big stick. <laughs> From time to time, various creatures find their way into the clock. A good caretaker protects the equipment at all costs. Yes, but... What does the equipment do? All in good time, my son. Now, think of someone you wouldn't mind bonking on the head. Perhaps a buffoon who has made life difficult for you in the past? Hmm. <laughs> Wonderful! A quark! You can do better than that. Good Freak. form, my son. Now, do as the kids say and lay the smack down. I think you're ready for a bit more. Oh my. Keep going. Just a few left. But Quark is non-violent on Well done. You certainly cleaned their clocks. 
<laughs> did you see what I did there? They laughed the same. Oh That's so cute, dude. Oh shit. You've done wonderfully, my son. I know you're going to take good care of this place. But where will you be? This is your facility. No, my dear boy, it's your facility. The great clock and everything in it, I now leave to you. Watch over it and protect it. Fulfill your destiny, XJ0461. Program terminated. <gasps> no. Congratulations, sir. It's a pleasure to have you aboard. Sigmund, what happened to the real Orbis? He said it's a secret. And a junior caretaker knows how to keep secrets. Yes, sir. Ah. Come on. We have an orientation room that will tell you everything you need to know about the great clock. It's also great for watching cartoons. Oh, my God. Watch out, it's sir. so cool. Teratropes are nasty little creatures. They feed on quantum energy, so they can see your past selves. Lousy hypersonic brainwave scrambler must have let them in. Oh my. That's actually scary in real life. I would have helped you out, but I'm not exactly what you'd call a fighter. Hmm. Looks like the hollow bridge is out. You may have to find another way across. Your past selves can throw time bombs too. Just remember, only one can exist at a time. It's for your own safety. Oh, God. Temporal recording initiated. Shoo! I said shoo! Be gone! Vamos! Oh, man. There we go. Now for this Temporal one. Temporal recording initiated. Damn it, tropes! Keep them away from your past self! Okay, he's gonna go back on it. We did it! You're getting pretty good at this, sir. Because well, I'm a pro I gamer, man. You hypersonic brainwave scrambler. Repair. And I'm coming for you. Not now, mind you, but soon after I take karate lessons and and I'm Time to go. You're on my list, pal. Uh, Sigmund, I believe it is gone. That's right. Run away. <laughs> I think Sigmund's my one of my new favorite characters. Temporal recording initiated. Temporal recording initiated. Wait a minute. Temporal recording initiated. All right, there we go. Temporal recording initiated. Then we wait. Orvis had trouble with that one once. Ah, crud. This one looks like a doozy. Computer, Ooh. can you shut down the gears in Sector 3? Negative. Damn it. I will cross my fingers for you. Cross those fingers. Temporal Stupid, recording updated piece of... I heard that. Oh, my. Temporal recording initiated. All right. Temporal recording initiated. Oh, I gotta wait.
I can make it. Unauthorized sonic device has breached monitoring station Zulu. Alright, 30 seconds. That's tons of time, bro. Hey, we that did it. was incredible! You should have your own theme music, sir. I could trail behind you and be all like... <laughs> Caretaker! Caretaker! All right, now what? Warning. Unauthorized sonic device on approach. Oh, we have to fight, don't Sarah, we? watch out! It's the hypersonic brainwave scrambler! Warning. Unauthorized sonic device in sector three. Wait, that's Dr. Ferris's device, right? Your time has come, hypersonic brainwave scrambler. Oh Let my lord. Dance. That is terrible. I'm seeing black boxes. Out, sir. He's using a sonic burst emitter. Yeah! Kick his butt, sir. Ooh, I'm gonna Watch back out, away. <sighs> no. He's mine. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I feel so bad. It's not the best gameplay I know. Brainwave scrambler, scrambler. <laughs> that was amazing, sir. You think you could show me how to fight like that one day? I knew it. Well, we've seen him already, so. What? He has his own it's fucking space station. Night of the Living Squishies, Act Three, Scene Four. Ready on set. I should never have quit dental school. And action! You'll never take me alive, Quack! Time is under my control! Oh, am I interrupting? Lawrence! <laughs> I'm rehearsing my epic romantic action comedy, Space Opera! Silly me, sir. I just thought it prudent to tell you Clank is en route to the Orvis chamber. Sir. <laughs> Splendid! The moment we've been waiting for is now. Now, if there's nothing else to discuss. There is one small matter. Oh, my lord. <laughs> I don't have the capacity to <laughs> He hasn't was fixed that yet. I a tribe of gypsy ninjas when I was a kid. I know, Lance. I was in that tribe of gypsy ninjas. Ah! They cannot be allowed to meddle in our plans! Track them down and annihilate them! Very good, sir. In the meantime, might I suggest engaging the safety so as not to kill any more troops? It's not even loaded, you moron! Look! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, they're so scared. I feel so bad for them. <laughs> now entering Venus Center. Ratchet, work here. I've been doing a bit of investigating, and it looks like Azimuth lives in a decommissioned mining robot on Torin 4. Got it. Thanks, Quark. I'll head over there now. Come in. I just landed on Torn 4. Do the Fungoids know where I can find Azimuth? Chief, uh, 
something something says he supposedly lives in the ruins of Fulgrim Pass. Fulgrim Pass? All right. Maybe someone around here can point me in the right direction. See what else you can find. I'll be in touch. Roger that. Work oh, out. what the hell? All right, folks, this is where I'm going to call it. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, but it's been a long episode. I don't know how long it's been. I know for me, the recording is almost two and a half hours long, almost three, actually. I'm going to call it here. I know it sucks, but, you know, <laughs> I hope you understand. Anyways, I just want to really apologize for all the graphical issues. I know, I know, it sucks. It looks ugly. I, I, I agree with you, and I don't have the money to buy a PS3. <laughs> so, I have a capture card, but I don't have a PS3. PS3 and I don't have like the proper equipment to set a PS3 up properly anyways like what I mean is like I don't have unless it wait do PS3 come with HDMI's I'm not even sure I can't remember I've I've never even owned a PS3 so I'm using an emulator to help me with the help of my cousin of course but anyways enough about that I'm just happy I'm playing this game like I just hope it doesn't bug you as either as like the graphical issues and stuff it does crash quite a bit I've experienced five crashes during this whole playthrough but they've been during cutscenes and you know it is what it is right it doesn't bother me i'm still having fun i'm having tons of fun uh my overall thoughts is that i'm just fucking blown away by all the improvements all the upgrades the customization especially like bro you have no idea how happy i am right now and just seeing clank and the, like the clank mechanics holy fuck like mwah, chef's kiss jesus ah oh, i'm loving this series so much like i feel so attached to them and just you guys are right this is a real wild ride and I'm happy you guys get to experience this with me or see me experience it firsthand. You know what I mean? Overall, the game still looks beautiful, minus like the black boxes. Uh, I mean, I can ignore that, right? That's just something small. <laughs> Anyways, I'll catch you guys on Monday. I believe this episode is premiering Friday. And I'm playing this on Sunday of last week. So just to give you guys like a, a time thing, a time schedule and stuff like that. Or not Sunday. What, what is it right now? I lost Monday my bad terrible with everything and time and stuff anyways without further ado bye bye smell you later see you guys on monday bye 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 stick around smell around bye 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 bye, -bye.